getting started to cook with my Dutch oven outside. I made a little bed right there for the coals to go on with bricks. A little fluid. The briquettes right there. Got a nice pile of briquettes now, and I'll put some fluid on there. Since you're cooking inside the Dutch oven, the gas isn't going to flavor your food any, so if you use a little extra, it's not going to hurt anything. it for a second and soak in. And then light it. And let it burn for a while till the briquettes start to turn ashy. Give it about 15 minutes and then you can put your pot on it to start it heating up. I got coals on top and coals underneath. And now the pan is heating. All right, pan is nice and hot. I got the meat all cut up. I will go ahead and take the lid off of the pot. Don't use your hand. <laughs> Oh, look at that smoke come out of there. Mix a little oil with the meat. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, yes. Do not forget to put oil in there. So. I just use a little Wesson oil, canola oil. Put that lid back on. That way it keeps the moisture in. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna go cut up my potatoes and I'll probably just put the whole baby carrots in there. Alright, pulled off the lid. It's looking good. Adding carrots in right now before the potatoes. because you can cook carrots for a long time and they'll still keep their shape. Potatoes can mush out pretty fast, so. All right, let's get that lid back on. Keep that heat going. All right, might add a few more coals to the top in a little bit. Just set them right on top or beside those and It'll just, or it'll just light those on fire too. This is the spices I'm adding. A little bit of Lowry seasoning salt, some onion powder, some garlic powder, black pepper, and some celery salt. And I will add a um, probably about maybe two, three tablespoons of Worcester sauce. All right, I'm gonna pull the top off of this again. Got my spice mixture, my two cans of corn. Usually I use frozen corn, it's fresher, but it's what I got today. And a whole bunch of potatoes cut up, and I will stir those in. Set that pot down. Put the spices in there. Corn. I put the Worcestershire sauce in that can of corn, so.
stir up those seasonings in there a little bit. Mmm, that looks good. Now, let's add the potatoes. Lots and lots of potatoes. And there is plenty of juice in there because it steams them. Try not to splash out too many. All mixed up, I'll put the lid back on and put more coals back on it. Now I'm going to add some coals right straight out of the bag. Shove some up underneath. And they will get against those burning coals. Put them up here on top. Get them into those burning coals. extra coals on top, stuffed a bunch more underneath, and they will light on fire. And I will check it in about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. That's what it turned out to look like. Very, very good.